Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Often I read posts on Facebook drones groups about people having Gnostic input on the receiver tab on Betaflight. Even though the receiver is bound to the transmitter, the related port on Betaflight is enabled and the right protocol is chosen in the receiver tab. This issue can happen on a new DIY build or when a swap of receiver using different uh, protocols type is involved in the process. In today's video, I'll explain why this issue happens and how to solve it. So let's get started. Here, I got a flight controller with a Radiomassa R81 receiver, which uses SBUS as a protocol. You can see it is bound to the transmitter. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Here we are. Then the related port on beta flight for the receiver is enabled. And obviously if we go on the receiver tab, it works. Okay. So, however, let's say that I want to swap over to another receiver. Here, I got a crossfire receiver. So what we usually do is to solder the new receiver on the flat controller. And that's what I'm gonna do now. <clears throat> Making sure that five volt goes to five volt, ground to ground and RX from the receiver goes to the TX on the flight controller and vice versa. So I'm gonna swap the receiver now and I'll be right back. All right, the Radiomaster R81 receiver has been removed and the Crossfire receiver is on and already connected to the transmitter. As you can see, they are bound. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Here we are. So we go in the port tab and the serial serial RX is enabled. It's on the same UART because I connected the new receiver on the same path. We go down into the receiver tab and here we swap from S bus to crossfire since the Crossfire receiver uses Crossfire protocol. Seven reboot. And here we are. The page is blank, no sticking boot, nothing, even though the, uh, the receiver, as we just seen, is bound to the transmitter, the port tab is enabled and everything, but it comes blank. So why does it happen? The issue and the solution at this lie in the same place. The firmware flasher and the way its functionality has changed over time. Let me show you. Here we are in the firmware flasher. And as you can see, if I choose any firmware of 4.3 and below, like 4.3.1, 3.0, 4 4.2.11, We get this layout where we can only choose the board name and the firmware version we want to flash. However, if I select any version from 4.4 and above, like 4.4.0, 4.3, and so on, we can see that the layout is different and we have a bunch more options to choose from. What does all this mean? It does mean that before, under the 4.3 version, we used to get installed into the firmware all the necessary components to run everything, including any type of receiver's protocol. However, 
things have changed since the 4.4 version has come out where you now get to choose only what you need according to the components you got on board and only one receiver protocol is allowed to be installed so you can see if i just cross fire and then i go like cost it changes it doesn't add up and so only one receiver protocol is allowed to be installed into the firmware so now you understand why we faced the issue when we swapped over to a different receiver type and not having stick input on the beta flight, even though everything was bound and configured. At this stage, it's clear that the solution is to refresh the firmware assigning the right protocol according to the receiver we are going to use. So in my case, I need to choose Crossfire, I go with the 4.5.0 version of the firmware. If you want to see how to properly fl uh, flash a Betafly firmware, starting from obtaining and saving a dump file of your current configuration to then load on your new firmware, ways to get your flash control in DFU mode and the steps to flash the firmware, I'll leave the link up here as a card and at the end of this video so that you can watch it. So I go and I load the firmware and I flash it. The new firmware has been flashed. Let's go in the port tab. Okay, the serial RX on the port tab has been enabled. As we have seen already, the transmitter is bound to the receiver. And what we do now, jump on the receiver tab. And here from SBUS, we need to go with Crossfire. Seven reboot. And voila, stick command, inputs, have come back. And the problem has been solved. I hope this video has helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to support my work, comment if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer you. And we will see you at the next one. See ya.